Building integrated photovoltaic, still not a well-known technology in Arab region and Middle East. While there are a success story in the world, it's well known that in Jordan and the Middle East, a lot of high buildings with glass facade were built during the previous 10 years. And that's a good uh, start to start using photovoltaic. From my perspective, the new commercial buildings shall start to think about the IPV. It's a known technology and it can use through substitution uh, from the building material, such as facade, roof integration, the IPV, and sun sheds and other solutions. It can be used also as a skylight for the factories and the corridor baths. It can facilitate the free lighting in the corridor during the day and could, and could reduce the energy bill at the end of the month. Based on the destination, the IPV can be installed in the building facade also, universities, and as well in the residential building, for an example, such sunsets. Manufacture, many factors control the BIPV installation, such as transparency, uh, how to avoid the high temperature at the back of the PV system, and as well as architectural design and aesthetic. All these factors are important to facilitate a good quality of the BIPV system. In relation to energy yield, it depends on the building orientation and insulation technology. It's known that thin film technology has better response to the high temperature effect compared to the crystalline technology. The south orientation in our region uh, can gain a highest energy yield comparing to any other, any other orientation, such as east or west orientation. When considering facing, facing to the south with variation on the tilt angle, we can see that the maximum energy yield can be gained uh, at, the, at the optimal tilt angle in the region. In Jordan, for example, it's 26 degrees. So the tilt angle and orientation are the main factors of the energy production as well as the other factors such as temperature. Regarding the consumed insulation area, we know that each kilowatt peak of the PV, of the PV system, of the regular PV system, uh, needs around 7 to 11 square meters, depending on the insulation criteria, while when using BIPV, by considering the technology efficiency and transparency, we need more than 7 to 11, and it differs between brand and technologies. And it's worth to know that using BIPV can give the building a new shape with a new aesthetic. And so, in conclusion, the designer shall compromise between architectonic, aesthetic and cost, so as to find an optimal solution between aesthetic and production, as well as the economical feasibility of the investment. And thank you.